It came up in the last the last few days of the window. Um, I'd heard a couple of rumours last last going back to last January when Paul Lambert was a manager and, and it always excited me the thought of coming down here and, and uh, with a new challenge and looking back at Blackburn in the nineties uh, how big a club it is and, and, and how well it's supported and how uh, how much success it's had, it's it really excited me. Did it take much for Owen to convince you? No, as I said, I looked I looked at Blackburn years ago when they won the title and um, it was always a big club in England that you looked down and, and, and when you watched, when you wa used to watch the, the TV when you were younger, it was one of the clubs that you, you always looked towards at their success and stuff. And the thought of coming here was ex it was very exciting to speak to Owen Coyle, helped as well, uh, very positive about the future, and um, that's that's exciting. How close were you to maybe re-signing for Celtic? It was pretty close. Um, we had some discussions, but they never kind of went went much further than that. Um, and when it came down to it in the end, I had to, I had to uh, look elsewhere and, and, and look to get get something sorted. And to be honest, in my mind, in the back of my mind, there was always a, always something there that this was my probably my last chance to, to have a new challenge and, and, and do something exciting. So this has excited me. I'm looking forward to to being here, being at Blackburn, and I can't wait to get started. Suddenly, the whole of Glasgow is about to go mad again with an old firm game looming on the horizon. They were great games to be involved in. And, uh, all the players are delighted to have that game back. It's a huge game, and Celtic are huge favourites again. Uh, but as you know, it's anything can happen. Old firm games, and and uh, sometimes it suits you to go in there as underdog because there's not, not a lot of expectation, and uh, it's dangerous to go in there. To go in there as favourites. It's almost like a role reversal. Celtic can outspend Rangers these days, and they are favourites. But you know that counts for nothing. Definitely. I mean, I remember going there in January second before and. Uh, nobody gave us a, a prayer at Ibrox, everybody says uh, Rangers will win easily and stuff and we won 2-0, Big Sammy scored 2 and, and I remember going to that game and everybody had had the sense that we were underdogs and nobody expected it and, and as, as I say, when you go in with that mentality sometimes sometimes it takes the pressure off you so it's dangerous f f to go in as big favourites and as we, we went in big favourites last year and things didn't go our way so um, when you've got players like Joey Barton and like like Lee Wallace that's been there before and, and, and players that are that are winners um, it's, it makes it difficult so Celtic have got to be at the top of their game and, and hopefully we can come to top Looking at the two teams give us your prediction and why I think it's hard to see past Celtic uh, just the quality they have I think like Sinclair a couple of bits and signings that have just made a difference um, I think the quality is there the, the the last match we played against Rangers, they were very organised, they played well, they played football and I think that was maybe what was missing for us, the organisation and, uh, and a clear clear message and Celtic have that now and, and the manager, uh, Brendan Rodgers, so I think that will that'll just be the difference, I think 2-0 I'll say Celtic because just a bit, bit more quality will come through in the end.